In this video, we're going to focus on finding the derivative of exponential functions. So let's start with some examples that contain the base e. What is, let's do that again, what is the derivative of e to the x? Here's the formula that you need to know. The derivative of e to the u, where u is some function, is going to be the same thing e to the u but times the derivative of u. So the derivative of e to the x is going to be e to the x times the derivative of x, which is 1. So it's simply e to the x. So based on that example, go ahead and find the derivative of these expressions. e to the 5x plus 3 and e to the x squared. Go ahead and try these two examples. So first, we need to rewrite the expression that we have, e to the 5x plus 3, and then times the derivative of 5x plus 3, which is 5. So the answer is 5 times e raised to the 5x plus 3. Now for the next example, it's going to be the same thing, e raised to the x squared times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So the answer is going to be 2x e raised to the x squared. Let's work on a similar problem. So let's find the derivative of e raised to the x cubed plus 8x. So it's going to be the same thing, e raised to the x cubed plus 8x times the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of 8x is 8. And so that's the answer. It's 3x squared plus 8 times e raised to the x cubed plus 8x. Now sometimes the base may not be e, it might be something else. So for instance, what is the derivative of 3 raised to the x? The derivative of a raised to the u is going to be the same thing a to the u times u prime times ln a. Now if we compare that to e to the u, which was e to the u times u prime. Now, it's supposed to be ln e, but the natural log of e is 1, so that part is not needed. So you need to use this formula for everything else other than e. So a to the u is the same thing. The derivative of x is 1, and then times ln a or ln 3. And so that is the answer. Try these three examples. Now, using that formula, it's going to be a to the u, which is the same thing. So a is 7, u is 2x minus 5, and then times u prime, which is the derivative of 2x minus 5, that's 2, times ln a, or ln 7. And so that's it for that example. And then in this problem, a is 9, u is x cubed. So it's a to the u times u prime. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and then times ln a, or ln 9. And for the last one, it's going to be a to the u times the derivative of 2x minus x squared, which is 2 minus 2x, times the natural log of 5. So hopefully these examples gave you a good idea of how to differentiate exponential functions. Now let's work on a mixed review of problems. Go ahead and find the derivative of e raised to the sine x and differentiate 4 raised to the tangent x. So it's going to be e to the u, where u is sine x times u prime. The derivative of sine is cosine. So that's it for the first problem. For the second, it's going to be a to the u, where a is 4, u is tangent, times u prime. The derivative of tangent is secant squared times the natural log of a, and a is 4. Let's work on some harder problems that involve more steps. 
So what is the derivative of x cubed e to the 4x? Now for this problem, we need to use the product rule. And the derivative of f times g is f prime g plus f g prime. So f is the first part of the function, that's x cubed, and g is the second part, e to the 4x. So f prime, the derivative of x cubed, that's going to be 3x squared, times g, which is just e to the 4x, plus f, that's x cubed, times g prime. The derivative of e to the 4x is e to the 4x, times the derivative of 4x, which is 4. And so that's going to be the answer, but it looks like we could simplify it. We could factor out the GCF. So we can take out e to the 4x and an x squared. So it's going to be x squared e to the 4x, and then we're going to have a 3 left over, and over here we're going to have 4x. Let's try this problem. Find the derivative of e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. Go ahead and try that. So since we have a fraction, we need to use the quotient rule. And here's the formula. The derivative of f over g is going to be g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. So we can see that f is the numerator, so that's e to the x plus e to the negative x. And g is the stuff in the denominator, so that's e to the x minus e to the negative x. So f prime is going to be the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x times the derivative of x, which is 1. So the derivative of e to the x will be the same. Now, for e to the negative x, it's going to be e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. Now, for g prime, it's going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x times negative 1. Now, let's go ahead and apply this formula. So g is going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x, and then times f prime, which is e to the x minus e to the negative x, due to this negative sign, and then minus f, which is e to the x plus e to the negative x, and then times g prime, which is e to the x. These two negative signs will cancel, so that's going to be plus e to the negative x. And then all of that is going to be divided by g squared, which g is e to the x minus e to the negative x. So how can we simplify this expression? So notice that these two expressions are the same. So we can write them as e to the x minus e to the negative x squared. And these two are the same, so that's going to be e to the x plus e to the negative x squared. And then it's divided by this thing here. Now what do you think we need to do at this point? Should we stop here or should we continue? Is there a way that we could simplify this expression? Do we have to FOIL? It turns out that we could factor this expression. Notice that this is in the form of a squared minus b squared. So a is e to the x minus e to the negative x, and b is e to the x plus e to the negative x. Now first, let me get rid of this stuff. a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b using the difference of squares method. So this expression is going to be a, which is e to the x minus e to the negative x. So this is a in red, and b is highlighted in blue. So a minus b, so minus, I'm going to distribute the negative sign to both those terms. So it's going to be minus e to the x minus e to the negative x. So that's a negative b. And then it's going to be a plus b. So a is still the same. 
and then plus, this time it's going to be positive. So plus b, e to the x, plus e to the negative x. And this is all divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x squared. Now, notice that e to the x and negative e to the x, they add up to 0, so they cancel. And negative e to the negative x and positive e to the negative x cancels as well. So on the left side, we have negative 1 plus negative 1, which is going to be negative 2 e to the negative x. And then on the right side, 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's going to be 2 e to the positive x. Negative 2 times 2, that's equal to negative 4. And what's e to the negative x times e to the x? When you multiply by a common base, you need to add the exponents. So x squared times x cubed is 5. e to the negative x times e to the x, that's going to be e to the negative x plus x. Negative x plus x is 0, and e to the 0 is 1. So it's negative 4 times 1, which is simply negative 4. And then this is still divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x squared. And so that's the answer for this problem. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching though.